Well, 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 you just watched a run. I bet you can't wait to see how a rack's gonna be. Bet it's, uh, totally different. Totally different. Hello there, dear viewer, and welcome to the ISAR Productions channel, where we're playing every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4. It's called Hoi 4 A to Z, where we go from the letter A to the letter Z. But there's no country that starts with Z. Uh oh. And that's right, today we're checking out the letter I, where we'll be playing Iraq, a great nation that's had a bit of a turbulent past and probably present. But don't worry, under the good leadership of me, I'm sure it'll go okay. Maybe bad. Maybe alright. Probably bad. And today we're checking out the Kingdoms of the East mod, which gives Iraq a focus tree. But I think it also gives Iran a focus tree, and it also gives Afghanistan a focus tree. Kingdoms of the East. Alright boys, where's the WMDs? Alright, get your bets in the comments down below. Will this be an extremely overpowered mod? It, it just gives me land. Starts a border war. Starts a border war, border war. Okay, we get a lot of border wars. This is, yeah, this is definitely going to be overpowered. Uh, but if we're also doing border wars, that also means I actually need some good troops. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get started on that, shall we? All right, we do start with mountaineers, but I think I'm going to go for marines instead. Just because uh, we do get a lot of river bonuses, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of rivers that we probably have to deal with, and not a lot of mountains we have to deal with right now. Oh, we could also nationalize the oil, which means that Great Britain won't be able to steal our oil anymore. Didn't we just do this in the last video? Right. Begone, fought. That's right, Stanley. You're a fought. Right, and with that oil, we are already churning out a profit from the Bulgarian and Guanzi clique who are buying it. I don't know why. First things first, we are deleting the army. Although I say army, it's um, it's just two units. And it's not very good. And in the place, I will spam out a ton of two-wit infantry. Oh god, we got the hardest choices here. We either get 2.5k guns, uh, 25k manpower, or two land doctrines and two infantry weapons and support research buffs. Always pick this one. That's right, I'm giving you the guide on how to play Iraq in the Eastern Kingdoms mod. <laughs> I'm gonna ditch Hoi 4 A to Z and become an Eastern Kingdoms only <laughs> YouTuber. That's right, Hoi 4 did me pretty well. But Eastern Kingdoms? That's where the money's at. That's right, look at the Iraqi army. It's huge on paper, but just like real life, American bombs will probably disintegrate it in seconds. If you didn't know, that was a Iraqi war reference, uh, which, weirdly enough, is um, before most of your people's time, which is odd to say. Oh my god, I'm slowly dying. Uh, you can usually tell if a mod is overpowered if by just going down the research uh, parts of the focus tree, it kind of ends up looking like this after like a year of gameplay. Iraq, the 1930s Wakanda. <laughs> Look at that. Our army is our pride, and it is! I mean, uh, every single unit just has one guy in it, and that one guy he is carrying a hundred guns on his back, it sure is prideful. Alright, so I either get the choice of having a research slot, or I get a crappy build bonus, some steel, a bit of aluminium, and a tungsten. Always pick the research slot! Oh no, I fooled myself by playing the overpowered mod. I forgot that the overpowered focuses will also get me, and I just got puppeted by a rat. I didn't even get an option, and now they are trying to pay for Q8. That's my focus! My mod developer, you think you might have, you know, put in a check or something to at least let me say no? Uh, there is a little focus over here called We Will Never Be Slaves, which if we are a subject of Iran, uh, may Allah blaze the pesky Persians, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so maybe that'll break me free. We'll find out in a second. Um, uh, I've, I've, I've been dragged into the faction to- I will have my revenge. Oh yeah, that definitely did the job. And despite the fact our army looks, um, a little under-equipped, don't you worry about them. They'll do just fine. They also did me the favor of puppeting Syria through their focus tree and Lebanon, so we're just gonna eat those guys up too, because they haven't even built an army yet. If you ever want to know how to get yourself some easy guns in Iraq, just, uh, well, f flip to a different government and then borrow some guns from the Italians and the Germans. Also, uh, the Turkish have been helping me too. 
I got a lot of friends. All right, so thankfully, Iran did a lot of the job for us and just took out pretty much everyone here. Uh, too sure why they got Kurdistan, but uh, even though Turkey helped us a lot, I'll take that off your hands, no problem. Okay, question is, why am I now endlessly at war with Afghanistan? Why? Oopsie daisy, it appears my thingy do be slipping. There you go. Oh, I try to release them. <laughs> but I, okay, whatever, I don't care. Okay, question is, if I do these focuses now, do I start a border war with myself? Also, Saudi Arabia is losing to Yemen. So I guess I'm going to help them out, you know, put them out the misery. How are you losing to Yemen? Can you? Can you not lose to Yemen? Oh, well, the Saudi army just got encircled down here. Can we uh, do the old FOW2 and, uh, yep. How are you losing to Yemen? All right, okay, we're living in bizarro world already with the start of this game. We're just getting into it and it's crazy. All right, that might explain some stuff because Yemen also has a focus rate! Alright, so the problem with my war justification here now is, uh... It's already occupied by Yemen. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I gotta kill Yemen too, because I can't leave any of these nations alone, or else they might just annex me from a focus. Oh, actually, you know what? There isn't anything here about me, so I might just join up with the Yemenis! Uh, how do we kind of, uh, combine these together? Uh, Yemak? No, no. Uh, Ermon. <laughs> there you go. The dawn of Ermon. Your old neighbor across the street who's always shaking his fist at you. Goddamn old Ermon. Oh, there you go. I don't have player conferences on, but now we have Big Yemen, which I know is also own Somalia. Nice, Yemen. Yeah, oh, my marine strat is kind of worthless now, because when I just got all this land anyway through the, the Iran war, and, uh, what the hell do I do now? I think our only option is to go into a death war with the Soviet Union. Trust me, it's the only logical thing in this scenario where Yemen... The okay, only problem is this ain't like the other focus mods. Uh, we only have 23 industry right now, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't think the Iraq focus was that great compared to probably the Iran one or the Yemen one for some reason. But we do get to form the Arab Kingdom in Iraq and Syria, so that's something. Don't get any of this caught, though. <laughs> Alright, the Soviet troops just moved off my border, so I assume the Germans are justifying on them. And we are gonna rat our way in and make the most of that! Alright, this is our only chance of ever accomplishing anything in this mod. Uh, we gotta hope that we may make at least a mile into the Soviet Union. Uh, sadly, there's nowhere else for us to push. Can't destroy Turkey, because they're justified by Britain and Germany, so that'd be a interesting coalition against me. Right, we got our justification. We're clearly gonna win this war. We've got all the equipment. We've got some equip- we don't have a lot of equipment. Equipment? Schmidtman though, as the famous leader of Iraq once said. Rashid Ali El Gailani. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs equipment when you've got balls of steel? Uh, I don't give a damn. Get me the hell out of here. All right, Yemen, you're, you're getting in here too. Get in, get in. At least we can milk all these guys for all the equipment they're worth now. And uh, the good thing about all the Asian ones, well, is we don't need convoys to get it. I don't know how it's making its way over here, considering Japan is at war with... Is it going for the Soviet Union somehow? A few good news, we are actually holding over here, but the fact the Soviets have so many troops when this has two infrastructure and is a desert, I'm not too sure about that. Oh, hopefully they just all die to death. That would be great. And uh, they don't have a lot of troops over here too, but we also have no pushing power whatsoever. Our units suck. We do have those Marines though. Um, you want to let me attack across a river into a mountain? That's right, we'll make our push. We'll help out our German friends. Um, well, yes, we're friends, okay, by stealing the oil. Plus, players, I don't even have player-led conferences on, so I'm probably not going to get jack from any of this. Oh, thank you, Yemen. 
This will turn the tide of the war. Uh, you boys, you're going straight to the front lines. Not with the Marines. You're not invited to the Marine Corps. There you go, just the infantry. Now what they say, slow and steady wins the race, and we sure are slow. Not that steady. I mean, this ain't too far-fetched if you think about it. Iraq, if you didn't know, did have a coup d'etat in the middle of World War II where they flipped governments and uh, was pro-German. But um, then the British came in and shot everyone. Do you gotta say, though, these Marines are coming in clutch. Uh, there's plenty of rivers around here that gives us a good bonus to attack across, but we are running out of river and running into mountain. Also, seizing all this oil will help us with the war and hopefully keep the Soviets crippled so the Germans can just finish them. There you go, the choke point has been created. The oil is secured, which means the only place left we can physically push is in the goddamn desert. All right, we're sending the Marines to the desert. I'm sure they'll do well here. Oh my god. Okay, D-Day's happening. Hurry up, Germany. Hurry up and finish them. You've got the oil. You've got no problems. Just take him out. Alright, so the problem here is that whilst we are pushing quite easy, that's because the Soviets don't have any supply. There's only two infrastructure here. But the further we push them, the further we push them into supply. And the further we push into their no supply, the less supply we obviously have. And uh, if I don't have the uh, industry to kind of <laughs> build more infrastructure here. Whatever. Okay, I've made a separate infantry unit just with logistics company, so hopefully that takes the edge off a bit, but we're, we're just rolling in the deep air. Now I finally understand <laughs> what Adele was singing about. The problem I predicted has come to fruition. The Soviets have moved into supply now and have sent loads of cavalry divisions, and I can't push them with no supply. It also doesn't help that one of the only infrastructures here is actually blown up too. We'll just call it a truce. I don't even want to fight you. The only reason I'm pushing you is so I stop dying of dehydration. Uh, if you're living in one of the Central Asian countries down here, you know, one of the stands, uh, how is it? Do you like it? Because in Hoi 4, it's literally hell. I swear, if we win this one, I don't get at least one province. I'm going to free. Oh my god, it's all over regardless. The UK is justifying on me. I'm getting a rack ward. Please, Soviets. <laughs> Please just die. Oh god. Uh... Well, you know that scene in Titanic when the band finally stops playing and the ship's going under and I think the violinist or whatever turns to uh, the, the other band members and he's like, Well, gentlemen, it's been an honor playing with you tonight. Yemen, we're gonna die! It's also been an honor committing war crimes with you tonight. How are you still alive, Soviets? <laughs> Just die, give in! It's the wacky adventure of the third marines of Iraq going through Central Asia, having a whale of a time. Oh my god. It's over. There you go. I actually got some land. I tried to make it not look terrible. We could have probably got a bit more, but um... I know you guys get angry when I make the borders bad. I can't believe the funny map man ruined my border! And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the story. That's how it went. Nothing bad happened after that. It all went absolutely fandedly fantastic. I, I don't want to fight the UK. <laughs> I just, I want to leave it here. Look at our little kingdom. The great faction of Ermut! And, yeah, that was it for the great Arab kingdom of Iraq in Syria. Oh. The Great Kingdom of Arab, the Arab Kingdom in Iraq and Syria. Interesting name. And the the Great Faction of Erman, which is um, the the winner really here, and definitely not about to be taken down by uh, the Allies. I mean, they're not they're not look doing too good themselves. They're kicked out of Africa, and I think we could roll over India considering uh, what's currently happening there. <clears throat> uh, but I don't really fancy a game where I have to not peace out because <laughs> the US. <laughs> the US! Uh, maybe one day they'll create some sort of rule where if you knock out Britain, then you can at least get a peace conference with Britain and their stuff. Maybe not the Commonwealth and then the US makes their own faction or something. I don't know. Maybe one day. You never know. Uh, but until then, and that means playing the game until 1950 and invading the US, which has a kabillion, gajillion, absolutely trillion divisions. Of course, they only have 128 right now, but uh, I wonder what it's like in 1950. Uh, but yeah, until now, until then, until never, because I never want to come back to this mod again. <laughs> no offense, Eastern Kingdoms. Maybe if Iran, I played Iran, it would have been a bit better, but the Iraq one, not that great, gotta say. The Yemen one, though, 
10 out of 10. Maybe we'll come back for this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it off for today. Um, just because, you know, I don't really feel like playing a rack anymore. I want to get down the list and play a fun nation, which is coming up. Ooh. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you all in a couple days.